so it's a team to be more embodied how can I be more embodied how can I stay embodied um, that's uh, some question people ask themselves uh, I know my friends have um, and uh, yeah rightly so we we want to all the benefits I mean what we see as benefit of being embodied feeling more your emotion feeling more your instincts uh, uh, some people think we might even get enlightened if we are really landing in the body or uh, or something something in those lines like become even I don't know become super super powerful because you're just so following your your body and everything is clear and and you don't have hesitation and blah 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 oh, well I mean maybe it's true <laughs> but so we want to get more embodied and uh, there are, we have lots of tools and when we think uh, how to get more embodied of course it's like how to get in the body so it's about the body uh, is there meditating on the body uh, feeling the inside of your body feeling your feet feeling uh, your heart feeling your gut your root chakra your yeah your gut feeling so uh, there's a lot of meditation that's about focusing on the body or there are you can do movement and body movement uh, track the position of your arms how you move the position of, of your arms relative to your head um, and all of this I mean they they can help you be more embodied but uh, there is, I think, an alternative, and it's a little bit counterintuitive, and and that's for people that are not embodied, that don't really feel uh, their body, and they don't feel their emotion, they don't feel their power, they don't feel their gut feeling, and and you know, if you try to do this meditation and focus on your heart, you might feel nothing, and it might be very frustrating, and. So the counterintuitive approach is not focused on your body, it's focusing on your thoughts. And you might say, oh, but if I'm not embodied, it means I'm in my head, I'm thinking too much, and I shouldn't focus on my thought. I should move uh, in my body and, and not live in my thought too much. But the thing is, if you're in your thought too much, you're in your side too much it means like your energy whatever with like very loose definition of energy is living more in your thoughts and your awareness is on cognitive processes and there is not much emotional energy flowing in your body you, do, you don't feel the vibration so uh, it might be that the thought is kind of some you can see that some sort of stuck energy it's like obsessive thoughts are emotions that you don't feel and and you don't feel the emotion so the only way to to go through it is like to look at the thought and that's why if you want to get more embodied take a look at your thought and maybe do some cognitive process and uh, how it works there is like a few things I like to ask my clients when uh, when I'm asking them how they feel about something and they say oh it's more a thought but I think that and then I ask them okay what's the energy of the thought or how the thought feels so we are not looking for a feeling in the body we are looking at what the charge behind the thought what's the energy behind the thought and by uh, by uh, looking at the thought and asking what is energy you might find oh it's an angry thought it's very angry or it's sad or something else who knows or nothing you know but but 
in that case it's not like you feel angry you don't feel angry you're not embodied but your thoughts are feel angry so if you realize that your thoughts feel angry there's a chance you might feel the anger and then you're embodied and then then you have integrated the anger and it and the thought usually dissolves it loses its power it loses its um, it's not as sticky it's not as repetitive and that's how you land in your body but not by trying to land in your body by looking at what's present the thought and how it's working yeah and uh, another practice I can recommend is to uh, to look at fears hidden fears so often often thoughts if we are stuck in our head and we have uh, repetitive obsessive thought often they are driven by uh, some fear that is also uh, repressed so you don't feel fear if you look at if you feel in your stomach or in your chest you don't feel you don't feel fear but but these thoughts are are present and they they are pretty suffering they are and uh, often what just it's like what is needed is just to realize what am I afraid of like, maybe I'm afraid of saying no to someone because if I say no I will have, I'm afraid they will not agree with me so and so and digging like a few layers of thought so I'm afraid to say no and because I'm afraid if I say no they are gonna say they are not gonna agree with me and then you realize ah oh, I'm afraid that they don't agree with me but hey maybe they don't agree with me already so this thought is kind of pointless and and uh, once you do this little process often it opens up feelings in your body so again just looking at thoughts what thoughts are present or what thoughts might be behind the the main thought we can open up space in the body and feel more energy feel more emotion and uh, and feel start moving and we can start moving as well because because the energy is moving and it often it often uh, manifests in new thoughts new behavior and you're more embodied so if you want to more to be more embodied work with your thoughts look at your thoughts but don't get stuck on them the, the, the trap is like to try to rationalize and explain and and that's how you get stuck so you have to look at your thought but not only work your thought you have to look behind the thought you have to look at the energy behind the thought you have to look at the charge behind the thought and that's gonna happen up things not trying to solve the thought rationally because it's not rational it's energy that is stuck okay that was it bye bye